What we're looking at is how to name substituents when we put them on to a long chain hydrocarbon or any chain hydrocarbon. And these are just alkanes. Okay, there are no double bonds anywhere. So as we look at this guy, I'm going to number the chain. Okay? What do we call this seven chain? Here? This is heptane. Okay, so heptane is the name of the chain. Oh, Ron, I'm taking my knife. Heptane is the name of the chain. The name of the chain is heptane. Anyway, moving right along, as we look at this, we can put things on it. And these are my little tool, this is my toolkit over here on the right side of the screen. <coughs> I set all those guys up as infinite cloners because carbons can be put on above, below, just about anywhere. Let's see if this will move as a group. Oh, it does. How oh, nice. Isn't life good? Okay. All right. So we're going to number these still one to seven. Now, because I can put these guys on here, I just put on uh, what kind of group? Methyl. That is a methyl substituent. Now I put him on carbon number six according to my initial <laughs> numbering system. Does that still hold? Is it still carbon number six? Yes. Yes. You have no idea, do you? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's all right. All right. So putting this guy over here just messed this whole thing up. Just. I mean, we slammed it. Yeah, gone. Deleted. Out of there. Okay. <laughs> Poor baby. So, now this guy's number one. Can you tell me what you think I'm looking at? Anybody? Uh, let's not do that way. Let's do the cards. <laughs> much, much better. Okay. Yesenia, can you tell me what you, you might be able to conclude from this? I just called the number one carbon here because I put that methyl group on it. Give her a chance to think. Bonding is going on. <coughs> you think you see any kind of a Something that gives you a hint as to why I call the, the guy on the far right number one now? It, yeah, there's a methyl there. I just told you that. Why do you think that I have to rename this with the number one being on the right side instead of the left side? Any idea? No? Anyone else have an idea? Raise your hand. Anyone? Come on, it's not that tough. It's it's really what you might think it would be. Uh -huh. Um, I'll ask you about it. the name of the if you switch to our place before the name of the second chain. Yeah, well that's that's how we're going to ultimately name it. But why did why is this labeled number one? Because the there's a substituent and it's closest to the right side. It's closer to the right side than it is to the left. And now I just reverse the numbering system. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now, let's skip these little dudes. There we go, Ruby. And I'm going to move those down a little bit because I'm going to put another substituent on. Oh, let's name this as it is. I'm going to get this out of the way. I think I'm going to get it out of the way. Come on. Hello. Anybody there? <laughs> wow, you got hooked up here, huh? Okay, baby. Come on, let go. <laughs> oh, for pity's sakes. There we are. All right, now we got it. So, let's name this guy. This is, this is a, this is a methyl group. What carbon is he on now? Two. So, we're going to say two. Methyl. 
have Jane. Two methyl have Jane. That's how we name it. All right. Now, let's do another little dude. Ooh. Ooh. Down here. Oh, isn't that cool? Now. Because he's on carbon number two. Oh. It's like numbering the it numbering the, the houses on a street. Exactly the same. Okay? What if it's exactly in the middle? I'm sorry? It's exactly in the middle, then it doesn't matter. Good question. Yeah, if I put that on carbon number four, it could be either way. Either way. Alright, now, now with that second guy on there, we're going to have to rename this. And in our second compound, we have two methyls, right? And the way the IUPAC naming goes, with two substituents on the same carbon, we use the carbon number twice. So this is going to be 2, 2, di methyl heptane. Heptane is our longest chain. And number one is on the far right. I want to do one more before I let you out of here. So let's see if we can get this. Watch. I'm going to put I'm going to put one of these ethyl groups on there. Let's put it on the bottom. Okay, where's ethyl? Where's ethyl? Four. Okay. Now, when we have different different substituents, we have to name them in alphabetical order. That's just the way IUPAC works. So, on this last one, I have to name ethyl first. So it is what ethyl? Four ethyl. Four ethyl. And then two two, 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 two dimethyl and heptane. Yes, you guessed it. Okay, just to separate them so it doesn't look like twenty-two. That's the only reason. Yeah. Why do you write four ethyl first? Because it's in alphabetical order. E comes before M. See, I'm going with. The first letter here, because there's no prefix, I have to go uh, with M in this one because di is a prefix. Okay, so methyl comes after ethyl. Yes? So the number of substituents on the number we have just put, like 2, 2, di, methyl, heptate, right? The number of substituents on the carbon you have to put that number. You have to put that number for every carbon that's on it. And the most carbons it can have, every the most substituents it could have would be two. So, But you could have, here, let's do just one more. Here. Ah, we have a little bit extra time. Let's do one more. We'll put another ethyl group on there. There you go. See, this is an ethyl group. Now, where do we have the ethyls? On four and six. Okay. So, what do you think? Four, six, six dimethyl. Two, two. You can go. Dimethyl. Okay. And there you have your little intro to how to name organic compounds that we call alkanes.